My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, Howard grilled short ribs. I had some short ribs in my freezer um, that when I bought them, I went ahead and marinated them in this teriyaki sauce and then stuck them in my freezer, and so he grilled them, and so here they are. And then uh, with it, I just decided to make a side of rice aroni stir-fried rice. Normally, I make my own fried rice, but I have this in my pantry and I'm trying to use up stuff. So I prepared the box of rice aroni according to package directions, and then separately, I sauteed some fresh mushrooms and green onions, and then I added them to the rice aroni. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So we are having a quick and easy dinner tonight. I did not feel like cooking, so we are having HEB Thin Crust Cheese Pizza. We have had Thin Crust before, and we've also had their Rising Crust. Howard really likes the Rising Crust. I like the Thin Crust, so we're having this tonight. I really like their pizzas. The sauce is really good, and the cheese is actual real mozzarella cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having red beans with andouille sausage. And actually I am using this Cajun style smoked sausage. I don't have andouille sausage, so I'm just using what I have. And I was getting ready to start recording for you all. And then I realized I went back to my archives. I made this on our channel over two years ago, like two and a half years ago. So I will link that video in the description box, but I just want to show you what I am using. The recipe calls for, um, celery, onion, and bell pepper. And I am just using this frozen mix that I have. It has everything in there, just using what I have. And then this is a Creole seasoning that I'm gonna be using. And again, this is a sausage. So like I said, I'll link the original video in the description box. Okay, so here is dinner and it is very good, very flavorful. Like I said, I made this a couple of years ago, so I will make sure to link that original video in the description box and the recipe as well. Just serving this over some white rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is called a pizza braid. And so on my baking sheet here, I have um, thin crust, pizza crust, I have it laid out. And of course, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box, but all you do is put about a cup of cheese down in the center of your pizza crust. And then it says to layer it with Italian sausage, and mine is cooked Italian sausage, just layering it in here. And then it says to um, add in your pepperoni, and I'm also adding in some peppered salami that I had in my refrigerator that I need to use. So I'm just gonna layer those. And then it says to add more cheese on top. And now it says to cut 12 little slices on each side of your crust. Okay, so I've got my dough all sliced up and then you're just supposed to crisscross it over like you are braiding. And if you were wondering why I was using the back of my knife earlier when I was cutting, I was trying to avoid slicing up my, my little pan here. Okay, I've got my braid all done. I am going to pop this into my preheated oven for about 20 minutes or until it's golden brown. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. Can't wait to dig in, serving it with some warm pizza sauce. And then in my freezer, I had um, some breaded mozzarella sticks from Trader Joe's uh, that I needed to eat. So I decided to pop a few of them in the oven as well. As you can see, I kind of overheated them. The cheese is <laughs> leaking out of them. And then here is the rest of the braid um, on the cutting board. And it was really easy to make. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Today I'm making Mississippi country style pork ribs. So in my crock pot, I have two and a half pounds of country style ribs. 
and I just added a package of ranch seasoning, and now I'm adding a package of au jus. If you don't have au jus, brown gravy will work just fine. Uh, Mississippi pot roast is one of my favorite things to make. I've made Mississippi chicken roast. I've made Mississippi pork roast. Um, I've made Mississippi beef roast as well, and they're all good. I just added in a half, um, <clears throat> excuse me, half a stick of unsalted butter. And now I'm adding on, adding in my peppers. And we really love these peppers in our Mississippi pot roast. They have a lot of flavor. I don't think they're spicy. Um, I usually add about 12 to 14. The original recipes um, call for like six, but like I said, we enjoy the flavor of the peppers. So I'm just gonna add them in. One thing I don't care for in this roast is um, the juice of the peppers in here. I did that one time and I did not care for it at all. All right, there you go. And so now all I'm gonna do is cover this and cook it low and slow for about eight to 10 hours. Okay, so here is the pork. I let it cook for 10 hours and it is so good, so juicy and tender. And then here is our dinner plate. So I've got some fresh broccoli. I forgot that I had some um, broccoli in the fridge and I needed to cook it up. So I stir fried it in a little bit of oil and seasonings. There's the pork, of course. And then I just made some homemade mashed potatoes to go with it, trying to clean out my freezer. And I forgot that I had this pie in my freezer outside. So I wanted to go ahead and cook it up. I love pecan pie. I bought it a long time ago when it was on sale. Um, this pie is delicious, but I also have a homemade pecan pie that I made on our channel. It is a brown sugar pecan pie and it is so good. So I'll make sure to link that in the description box if you want to check it out. It's so easy to make. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.